What's up guys, today's video is the second episode of how to run your first Minecraft speedrun. This is part 2 out of a 4 episode series and in each episode I'll teach you one aspect of speedrunning. And when you will finish watching the series you will have all the knowledge that you need to run your first Minecraft speedrun and even to get a respectable time. The last episode was about resetting and this episode is going to be about the overworld. If you didn't watch the last episode, definitely go watch it and then come back to this video. In the last video, I already showed you where you need to spawn for each run type, so in this video, I'll just walk you through the run. And with that being said, let's jump into episode 2. I just wanted to mention very quickly that I don't want to waste your time, so I'll try to talk straight to the point. So the first run I'm gonna walk you through is a classic run. You need to get to the village, get tools, kill the iron golem, and make a bucket. Then get beds and some hay bales to make food as many as you're comfortable with. Then locate a lava pool and go to the nether, I'll leave a link in the description of how to build every type of portal. The second run is temple run. If you spawn far from the temple you should get wood right away. And if you spawn close to the temple just loot it like I show in the video and then go and blow up some wood and some gravel for flint and steel. If you don't get at least 7 iron in the temple, just reset. Then you craft a stone axe, stone shovel, an iron pickaxe and a bucket. You can technically do it with 4 iron, but then you need to get very lucky in the bastion and get 3 iron from the chest so you can craft an iron pickaxe. Now you just find the lava pool and go to the nether. Let's move on to cave strats. I'm going to talk very quickly about some task overlapping. You don't have to do that, but it can save you quite a bit of time. You need to get 3 logs, get into the cave, make a wooden pickaxe, mine 3 pieces of stone and then make a stone pickaxe. Mine 8 more pieces of stone and make a furnace. Then mine 1 piece of iron and put it with wooden pickaxe and 1 more plank in the furnace. Then mine 4 more cobblestone and make a stone axe and a shovel. Go up, mine 2 more logs and turn them into planks. Then go back down, mine 1 piece of iron and put it in the furnace with the wood you just mined. Mine the rest of the iron and put it in the furnace, you need a total of 7 iron. While it's melting, take 1 piece of iron, find gravel, there might be some in the cave, make flint and steel and burn some animal for food. Get some more wood and go back to the cave. Make an iron pickaxe and a bucket, then go to the lava pool and enter the nether. The next run I'm gonna walk you through is a village run. Go to the blacksmith and loot it. There must be at least enough materials to make an iron or diamond pickaxe. Craft your pickaxe and a bucket and if you have any spare iron, you can also make the rest of the tools from iron. If you don't have any spare iron, mine the cobblestone in the blacksmith and use it to make your tools. Then take some hay bales and some beds, as many as you are comfortable with. Then craft a flint and steel, go to the lava pool and enter the nether. Run number 5, Ruined Portal Run. If the Ruined Portal is completable, just complete it and light it with flint and steel or with fire charge. You can get some wooden tools and enter the nether or enter the nether and make your tools there. The ruined portal also might be not completable, but if the chest contain at least 27 iron nuggets, you can turn them into ingots and make a bucket. And if there is lava around the ruined portal, you can make a regular nether portal with the bucket. And don't forget to get 3 more iron from the bastion chest so you'll be able to mine the gold blocks later on in the run. If the ruined portal is completable and you have 27 iron nuggets in the chest, you can complete the portal and make an iron pickaxe. Let's move on to ocean strat, shipwreck. If the shipwreck is far, just mine 3 logs, make a wooden axe and mine 4 more logs, then make a boat and 3 doors. Find the treasure part of the shipwreck, it can generate in a lot of different ways. After you find the treasure part, loot it, if you got less than 7 iron, just reset. Go down to the single door and mine 2 logs, then make a crafting table and 8 sticks. Make an iron pickaxe and a bucket and keep one more iron for flint and steel. If you have iron spare, 
you can make the rest of the tools from iron. If you don't have any iron spare, just make the rest of the tools from wood or gold if you got some from the chest. If you got spare gold, you can make some gold armor. Now mine 4 more logs and loot the food chest and make 3 doors and a boat. If you don't have door in the shipwreck and you have spare iron, you can make an iron pressure plate, place it and use it as an air source. If you don't have spare iron, just swim to the closest island and get the wood from there. After you got all the tools, just go find a magma ravine, place the door and mine gravel till you get flint. Now go down to the magma ravine and build your nether portal there. And as I said earlier, I'll put a link in the description of how to build any type of nether portal. Ocean strats, mapless treasure. Now the second way to run an ocean run is to do a mapless buried treasure. With the help of the strat, you can find the buried treasure without using a map. I'll leave a link down below of how to do a mapless buried treasure. After you loot the treasure, you can mine two logs or blow up some wood with the TNT if you got some from the treasure. Now just keep playing like a shipwreck strat. Run number 7, Monument Run. So Monument Run start exactly like an ocean run. After you got all the tools from the shipwreck or from the treasure, you need to find an ocean monument. When you find the monument, just lower your under distance down to 2 so we will don't get the mining fatigue effect. Then you need to get the monument from its backside. Now you need to find where the gold blocks are placed. There are 4 places you can find the gold blocks, I'll mark them with obsidian. Now just go and mine in every one of them till you find the dark prismarine. Place the door so you'll be able to breathe and mine the 8 gold blocks. After you mine all the gold blocks, just go to find the magma RV. And from here just keep late like a normal ocean run. Just remember that sometimes you might get very unlucky and get a mining fatigue effect before you manage to get the gold blocks and then you just reset. Before the video ends I just wanted to remind you that the most important thing in speedrunning is open mind. Remember that the strats are only a guideline and sometimes you will need to be creative and do things differently. So this is it for today, hope you enjoyed the video, huge thanks to my friend Mr. Brother and I will see you in the next video.